In the first mail merge demo, I specified the label size and layout for the label sheets I'll be using. Now I'm ready to select the recipients. I'll use the customer information I stored in this Excel worksheet. Each row contains a customer name and address that will be printed on a label on the label sheet. To prepare the worksheet for the mail merge, I have already formatted the postal codes as text, which ensures that the initial zeros are not dropped. To do this, I first selected the postal code column. Then on the home tab in the number group, I selected text as the number format. Now in my Word document, I'll connect the labels to my address list. To do this, I go to the mailings tab and in the start mail merge group, I click select recipients. Then I click use existing list. I find my Excel file, select it and click open and then click OK. At this point, my Excel data file is attached to the main document in Word. The Merge field, Next Record, appears in each of the cells except the first one, but we'll talk about that in the next demo. Right now, I want to make some edits to my list of recipients, so in the Start Mail Merge group, I click Edit Recipient List. Here I see the information from my Excel worksheet. Notice that my Excel worksheet is referred to as the data source in a mail merge. A row containing information for one customer is referred to as a record, and each column containing a specific item of information is referred to as a field. Now if I want to delete a recipient from the list, I simply click the checkbox to clear it. I can use the checkbox in the header as a quick way to clear and restore all of the individual checkboxes. If I want to print labels for only a subset of the recipients, those living in the USA, for example, in the Refine Recipient list, I click Filter. On the Filter Records tab, for the field, I select Country. And for the comparison, I select Equal To. For Compare To, I type USA in all caps as it appears in the worksheet. Then I click OK. My recipient list is filtered to include only recipients in the USA. Notice that the drop-down arrow for the country column has changed color to indicate that the list is filtered by that column. I can refine my list even further by clicking Filter again and adding a second set of criteria. For example, those US customers living in Bellingham. I click OK and see a very short list indeed. The blue drop-down arrows in the city and country columns indicate that the list is filtered by both columns. To remove a filter, I click the drop-down arrow and select All. Finally, I can change the order in which the labels are printed by simply clicking a column heading to sort my list by that item. For example, I click Postal Code to sort the list by Postal Code. If I want to sort the list by more than one item, I click Sort. I'll select two sort criteria and then click OK to sort my list. When I have the recipients I want in the order I want them, I click OK to save my edited recipient list. When I save the Word document, this list is saved with it. What next? Watch the next demo to see how to add the name and address placeholders to the labels.